We've got a submission here from B-Town 2. Uh, we're going to be looking at your P terms. It looks to you like your roll P is too high, but then upping it gets rid of some lower frequency vibrations in the video. That's pretty weird to me. Um, up, upping P term, it, if it was way too low, then you could have some sort of wobbles that raising it would sharpen up the response, I guess. But low frequency oscillations, oscillation implies a sort of regularity that doesn't tend to come from anything except a tune. Maybe if your eye gain was way too high, you could have eye term oscillations and raising the P term would fix that. That's pretty unlikely, but we'll look anyway. Yeah, your eye terms are pretty nominal. So let's take a look at your log and let's just see what we see. Here we are, and we're going to dive into, let's look at roll first, you said. So we'll look at roll. There we go. And as I look at this, your P term looks low. You're at about mid-throttle. Now, I can tell, I'm guessing, I don't see a lot of motion on your stick. I don't know what you're doing. I should look at your video, I guess. Hold on. Let me review your video. Okay, I'm back. I checked your video. Yeah, you're flying. Okay, you're not just hovering in one place. Um, your P-term is not super active on roll. Uh, my first thought would be that I would raise P-gain. Let's see what happens as your throttle goes up. Your throttle goes up. You're pretty well behaved. The D-term is jumping around a little. I might knock D down just a smidge. Uh, I think it is at... I'm guessing it's at 20. I think it's probably at the default. That's just, D roll twenty two. Okay, yeah. So I would take I would take your roll D down some. You're on uh, what paid flight are you on? Two one four November twenty fifth. Yeah. Um, I would take I would take your D roll down a smidge. Uh, maybe from twenty two to twenty or nineteen. Um, it looks maybe a little active. I don't know about these low frequency oscillations you're talking about. And your P term is, if anything, it's a little low. Yeah. By the way, don't worry about these high frequency oscillations you're seeing here at low throttle. Those are just harmonics coming through. I'm not even sure they're really there. I wonder if that's just a black box phenomena. So don't sweat that. Low throttle, nothing going on. High frequency oscillations here. Throttle's coming up. There's still a little bit there. Uh, we'll take a look at your gyros in a second. Raising your throttle. Here is kind of the highest throttle point. And you see, even at very high throttle, 1754, you, your P-term is not really, it's not going crazy at all. You know, I don't want it to see, it's like, you know, you, I've said before, you got a racehorse and it's in the gates. You don't want to see the racehorse just kind of sitting there looking bored. You want to see it ready to go, right? So if the P-term is, is flipping out and oscillating like crazy, that's too much. But if the P-term is not showing a little bit of activity, I almost feel like it's too low. And that's what I'm seeing here. I would like to see the P-term come up. I don't see any signs of excess P-term, P-gain. You said it looks like P-gain on roll is too high, for example, at 57.3. So let's go to 57.3 and see what we see. We're almost there. Hang on. 57. Okay, so... I mean, I see what you mean. There's a lot of motion here, but... And here is what almost might be called an oscillation, but it's just one back and forth. This doesn't feel, I mean, I don't know what's going on here, but it doesn't feel to me, this doesn't look like excess P gain, okay? There's nothing here looks like a hard hard and fast oscillation. Look at the previous video I posted where it looks almost like a, just a regular sine wave. This is irregular. It is not regular in amplitude, nor is it regular in frequency. So this is not an excess P gain oscillation. This is just sort of wandering around. And actually, given the fact that the P-term looks so docile the rest of the time, I'm guessing that whatever is happening here is because the P-term is too low and needs to be sharpened up. So shockingly, I'm going to recommend that you raise your P-gain on roll, which I almost always people have it too high, not too low, but it feels like it's too low in this case. Um, as, and, and, and do that first, and then go back and look at your D-term and see what your D-term is doing. Your D-term doesn't look too bad. If you raise your P-term, it may, may sort of be more in sync with the D-term. So that's what I would say about that.
So now I'm looking back at your config, and we can see that if you were to raise your roll P gain, say, let's say you raise it from 1.5 to 1.7, okay? At that point, your roll P gain is going to be higher than your pitch P gain. And I think that's probably not optimal. Let's take a, I've no, I don't know this frame. Let's take a quick look at your frame and see how symmetrical it is. Okay, so yeah. So this is not a per, this is not like an X frame and your weight is definitely more spread out along the pitch axis than the roll axis. And as a result, you're almost certainly going to need higher pitch P gain than roll P gain. So if we were to conclude that something like 1.6 or 1.7 was was about right for roll, then I would immediately say that pitch should start at like 2.0 just because it, it's probably going to need to be higher based on the weight distribution. Let's take a look at your log and see, we should see that the P term on pitch also like looks really docile. And uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think we do. We don't see any signs of oscillation. It's moving. It's not moving particularly much. Let's go to the high throttle point. D term flips out a little bit at high throttle, but nothing crazy. It's very docile. So yeah, so that would be my recommendation for you. Take roll up to 1.6 or 1.7 and take pitch at least that high, but probably more like 2.0 to 2.2 and start tuning from there. That would be my thought. Let's just take a quick look at your yaw just to see what it's doing. D gain on yaw is non-existent, or D term on yaw is non-existent. It's just right near the, the line. It's at zero basically the whole time. Let's just take a quick look at your number. Yaw D is 10. Okay, so nothing going on there. Yaw P is 3. No signs of bad behavior in yaw. No signs of crazy oscillations. Not doing much. Frankly, your P gain could probably come up a little bit as well. I think. I think, uh, yeah. Take it to four uh, and take your D gain to 15. That's what I would say. That's my thoughts, and I hope they're helpful. And oh, as always, happy flying.